Welcome, in front of me is Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 5 and in this video I will show you how to set up this laptop. Uh, so in front of you is the USB 11 uh, setup start starting window. So first we have to, to select the right country origin right here. Uh, so uh, click on the one that you like the most and then click yes. Then uh, select right keyboard layout or input method and click yes again. If you want to add a second keyboard layout, click add layout, otherwise click skip. And then let's connect to the network. So click connect next to the ne network you want to connect to. And then you'll have to input the password and click next. Okay, can't connect to this network. Let's try again. Or maybe let's try in a different network, I don't know. Okay, so once you are connected to the network, I uh, ch chose to connect to, the, to a different one. Uh, then uh, click connect, uh, click next, and then wait uh, until your device checks for updates. Okay, so in the following window you can name your device if you want to. Um, basically, it already has a name for it. But if you want to rename it, you can enter the name here, then click Next. Uh, then the PC will restart and then you'll go to the following page. But I'm gonna skip it for now by clicking this one, this uh, option. And then I think your device will check for updates again, if I'm not mistaken. So let's wait. Okay, so right now you'll have to wait until the updates are installed on your PC. So what you have to do is plug in the charging cable into your laptop and then wait until the updates are uh, downloaded and installed. It usually takes about I don't know, 20 minutes. So simply wait for the following steps. Okay, so after that, uh, create a name for your device. And click Next. Uh, then if you want to uh, create a password, uh, you can enter it right here, but you don't have to do this. Uh, you can uh, simply click uh, Next. Uh, then choose privacy settings for your device. Uh, so I usually go with the location and find my device features and other things like diagnostic data and can and type a personalized offers. I usually switch them to no because uh, all they do is uh, collect your uh, use user data to, uh, to process it for uh, process it for, for um, improving windows or something uh, basically you have you can uh, check each option for yourself and select uh, switch on the the, the uh, options that you like then click accept and uh, then wait another while and after that the setup is complete so uh, thank you for watching this video if you liked it consider subscribing to our channel leave us a like and a comment below and i'll see you in the next one